you guys. Welcome to Beauty and Beyond. I'm a twist three seven and I'm back. Okay, y'all. Um I forgot in the video to show you the Apple Bottom palette. So before I get into my favorite, here it is. Um, as you can see it has a mirror there. I don't want to blind you guys, and then it has all the um colors and stuff down here. Um very pigmented. I'll give you a couple of swatches. Just a second. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was $2.99. Oh, $3.99. Right there. You can get this at Fallas. Badass Platinum got it. And she lives in Texas. And I'm here in Cali. And I found it. So you should be able to find it. There's some swatches. Okay. Um, Let's get into the favorite for the month of October that I have been reaching for. Some stuff consists of the same, but some things have changed. So what I'm going to do is talk about some of the things I've been using. Okay, first of all, this perfume tattoo by Inky is a, um, replica, not replica, but, oh, I can't think. Uh, it's the imitation perfume for Ed Hardy. It smells really good. It kind of smells like Ed Hardy to me, but it doesn't smell like as much like Ed Hardy like the OC that um, Fashion Queen got me. That one smells like Ed Hardy. It's still in the box, though. I haven't started wearing it yet, but because I know I'm going to use it all. <laughs> but this one, I got it from Big Lot. It's, it's good, though. And it stays on for pretty long. I sprayed it this morning. I can still smell it. So, okay, another one of my things I've been reaching for all month is the Vanity Palette. And you guys know I've put this in a lot of my videos. So you guys know Vanity Palette is bomb.com. Okay, let's get on brush scenarios. Brushes that I have been reaching for um, a whole lot are of course my elf powder brush still in motion my rock and republic eyeshadow brush i use quite often my elf studio ang small angled brush i use for eyeliner the c139 stiff tapered crease by crown brush the this is an Ulta Professionals. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, but I don't use it for eyeshadow brush. I don't even see how you could use this thing for eyeshadow brush. I use this to blend in my concealer when I contour my eyebrows. Um, this is the Sigma E35, and it is dirty, so that proves yes. that. I, this is the E35 by Sigma, and I use it quite often because it's. I use it this morning. It's dirty. Sorry, I'm bringing y'all a dirty brush, but I want y'all to see it. This brush has, this is the tapered blending, it has the best, oh my gosh, you guys, the best, this mess blends like nobody's business, and it's very precise, so if you just want that color in your crease, or just in a certain area, this is the perfect brush for it, and this is the Sigma E35, it was about $16 on Amazon, it'll also be $16 on SigmaBeauty.com. Next Sigma brush is the E35, the tapered highlighting brush, and it's shaped like this. I use this every day. I like to use it right in the T-zone when I, I usually set my makeup right in my T-zone areas, because that's where I oil, get oily at, because I have um, combination skin, where I'm just oily here and dry all around here. So, um, yeah. I highlight underneath my eyes with this, I contour with my nose, I put brush on, blush on with it, I contour with this. Very multi-purpose brush that I think everybody should have. I think this brush was about $16, $17 on Amazon.com and you can also get it at SigmaBeauty.com. Now, um, let's talk about... Ruby Kisses. Yes, y'all. As you guys know, 
I showed you guys the 3D Face Creator by Ruby Kisses in one of my hauls. And I've been using this ever since I got it, as you can see here. I use this to contour my eyebrows. Um, sometimes I use it for blemish spots every once in a while. But I really like it for contouring and I use this side to you to do the contouring wig. It was $5.49 at my local beauty supply store and this is in level 11. Another Ruby Kiss item that I've been using all the time is the Ruby Kisses um, eyeliner in rich black. And what you guys see that I've been using this a whole lot. <laughs> um, that and my Wedding Wild I've also still been using so... They battle between the two. So, <laughs> the Ruby Kisses has a more creamy, creamy consistency than the Wet n Wild one does. And it seems like the Wet n Wild one is starting to get a little bit dry. So I'm going to invest in another one also. My number one favorite in the Ruby Kisses area is the Ruby Kisses Primer. Very popular here on the YT. If you don't have it, oh my gosh, get it. I was using the NYX primer for a very, very, very long time. But once I got a hold of this, that NYX primer been sitting in the um been sitting in the drawer. <laughs> so this is like bomb.com, y'all. Another thing that I've been reaching for is my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and Dark. Yeah, dark number three, cocoa. And you guys know it has the moussey consistency. I use this just to put on the sides of my face where I have a little bit of blemish scars. So that's what I use this for. Love it. It blends in perfect. Another thing that I have been using is, no know why it's dirty. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but Wet n Wild have um, new Juicy Lip Balms. I got this from CVS when they had a Wet n Wild sale. It was the only thing I got. I wasn't in the mood to really spend, so I was just browsing and I seen this and I got it. Um, and this is in Cherry. Cherry. And it's two, number 280C. And um, this stuff is good. I also been reaching for the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Ice Mocha number 617. I use this to um put in my um the uh bottom portion of my eye on the waterline. Love it. Love that stuff. You guys already know I'm still using the number one thing I only use to attach my eyelashes, the Kiss um Premier Premium Eyelash Adhesive, bomb.com, sent it to a couple of people, I've been recommending it to people, and it's just great. So, um, let's see, what else have I been reaching for? A couple of more things here. My Rockin' Republic Eyeshadow in Tribal, which is this brown. Which is what I have in the topper portion of my eye. And I've been doing a lot of highlighting with my Maybelline, I think it is. Um, mineral, yeah, the Maybelline Mineral Powder, Finishing Veil Powder in Dark. And it looks like this. I got it for $3.50 at Big Lots. A lot of people have been saying they haven't been able to find it. So... I hope you guys can find it if you want to try it. Um, another thing that I've been using is my e.l.f. set, um, eyelash set and brow set, um, from e.l.f. I've been using that a lot. I also have been wearing my Model 21 lashes, and this is the combo box, and sometimes I'll put them back in here, but I've been wearing these, and so far, the 40 T's. And the 63s and the 3Ts and the 2Ts have been my favorite. Right now, I'm wearing the 2Ts. Love them. If you guys haven't tried Model 21, 
eyelashes. I can't express enough. I am an affiliate, and I'm not saying this because I'm an affiliate of their company, but their eyelashes are fantastic.org, y'all. Y'all got to try them. So how much time do I have left? Okay, let's get this over with because I got a conjoined video, so I had got cut off. This is Bubba Violet by Revlon. Been using this, y'all. Good fall color. Check it out. Number 663. Bubba Violet by Revlon. I've also been using Just Enough Buff, number 613 by Revlon. Thanks to Nitra B, because she is the one that introduced me to this. I've also been wearing my MAC Diva Glam B and my MAC Revealing, and these are both of those. So, yeah, that's pretty much the haul. Um, haul. My favorite video for October. We'll see what November brings. As always, thank you for watching. I'm a Toy 47. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. And thank you for watching Beauty and Beyond. And I'm a Toy 47. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.